Aluskan Mimigo, the governor of Ondo State, has declared a seven-day mourning period for the ex-governor of the state, Dr. Aluskan Nagagyu, who passed away on September 13, 2013, Friday. Enakint Sola, the media aide of Governor Mimiko, informed the mourning period shall commence on September 16, 2013, Monday. The decision also ordered that a condolence register be opened at the governor's office, Alag Baker, Akio, the state's liaison offices in Lagos and Abuja and the headquarters of the 18 local government areas of the state. Governor Mimiko also called on indigenes and residents of Ondo State to remember the Agagyu family in their prayers. Mimiko described the late Agagyu as an early achiever who scaled dizzying heights in the academic, political and social circles in the country. He paid a condolence visit to the Ikoyi home of the late ex-governor on September 15, 2013, Sunday. Mimiko described the late Agagyu as a very brilliant man who possessed a remarkable ability for hard work which was evident as he gave his best to the state, first as deputy governor, in the old Ondo state, and later, as governor. He assured the family of the love and prayers of the people and government of Ondo state at this period and said the government was willing to work with the family towards giving the former governor the befitting burial. Several Nigerian governors and politicians have also expressed their condolences. Dr. Agagyu can never die, when the people tread those roads constructed by his administration in Ondo State, when they pass by those imperishable legacies he left, the foremost geology teacher will live in their hearts and they will confront his great love for the people of the state afresh, even decades to come. The Oyo State Governor A.B. Olawajimobi said. Cross River State Governor Lyle Imok expressed grief over the sudden and painful death of the former governor of Ondo State. He described Agagyu's death as painful and recalled his time with the late former's governor as Minister of Power. He said Agagyu was an astute administrator, a consummate professional and a team player. Senator Bodo Lajumok also described the death of the ex-governor as a great loss to Nigeria and the people of Ondo State, his death has come too soon at 65, and the PDP political family of Ondo State and Nigeria have lost a formidable member, an intellectual and a great tactician and organizer, he said. He prayed that God would grant his wife and children the fortitude to bear the loss. The ex-governor of Ekiti State, Segunane, also commiserated with the family of the deceased, said the death of Agagyu left him personally hollow and empty, and called everyone to pray for the deceased and his family. It is my prayer that the good Lord will grant the deceased eternal rest and also grant his family, associate, members and supporters of the People's Democratic Party in Ondo State and the entire people of the state the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. Dan Jumagoj, the ex-governor of Gomb State, said the death of Agagyu shocked him. Goj was Minister of State in the Power and Steel Ministry when Agagyu was the substantive minister between years 2000 and 2002.